so all right we're back so again so when you're planting organically you want to try to use organic products and the top fertilizer that i feel like is the best is biotone um i also will use plant tone they didn't have biotone at my local nursery or lowe's that is my local nursery right now because of the pandemic um I was able to purchase plant tone so I, that is what I used um, in order to plant however within the last couple of weeks I did purchase um, biotone on Amazon and I did receive that so all the plants that you saw that were actually replanted into the ground they all were planted with biotone as a starter fertilizer you always want to try to use biotone as a starter fertilizer especially when you're planting something or replanting um any type of plant um whether it be vegetable um all of my plants my muscadines all of them have biotone as the fertilizer now when i planted my plants or um my um actual vegetables i use plant tone as the beginning fertilizer that i use um it's really not much different than biotone it's just that when you want to start a starter fertilizer you want to make sure that you're using biotone in the soil for instance for these muscadines i use the pot so i want to make sure that you want to make sure that you're not using regular soil or topsoil when you're planting in a planter. You want to always make sure that you're planting with potting soil. Um, you can use any type of potting soil. Um, some come with a fertilizer. You can use those. It's up to you. I use the standard potting soil that I find. I'm using biotone anyways so all that extra stuff really doesn't matter as long as I know that soil is very good and composted and it's not dense so that's the biggest thing you want to do when you're growing in containers containers is that you want to make sure that you're using a potting soil and not regular dirt please do not use regular dirt in a pot or a container um, and that goes for even a raised bed um, you want to make sure that you're using even a little bit of a mix a uh, raised bed is a little different because you're growing above the ground versus growing in the ground um, so what I did um, even along the edge area here I used some manure and compost mixed um, and kind of just raked it in and made it as because the soil here is pretty clay I'm in a, a southern climate so the soil here is very clay like it's it's not what I'm used to I'm used to a Michigan our dirt is very rich our dirt is very easy to work with um, so it takes a lot is more labor intensive i feel like here versus in michigan because you do have to put a little bit more elbow grease in it where you have to get down and get dirty um where in michigan i can just i'll be done within hours um of planting uh, if you have any questions just hit me up if you're trying to grow a garden um i'll let you know where i got my grow bags and where you can get those grow bags just hit me up on um, facebook you can dm me on facebook or instagram i'll let you know exactly where i got my grow bags um, i did purchase them from amazon um, if you want to know what types or what sizes i use i will let you know that as well um, and like also biotone is easy to look up if you need that information i can give you that but all you have to do is google biotone on amazon you can do a search um 
or you can go to your local nursery or anything like that but i'll let you know guys know an update of the cycle of life of what's going on here in my backyard pretty soon and also even my flowers because i do have a lot of flowers that i do plan on planting so you did get a glimpse of what that is looking like right now i did want to do some visual interest along with the planting that i plan on planting in ground um, so i'm so excited about everything that's happening so just stay tuned to my channel and I really appreciate you guys for um, for watching. Stay tuned.